So what did you do last summer? Our next guest wrote a rough draft for a children's book, and she did it. She did this thing in about 20 minutes. <laughs> The local teen then worked for months to polish what would become her first book. She is published, hoping to inspire others with Undefined. Maddie Reinheimer. Good to see you, Maddie. Hi, hey, Maddie. It's Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. This is pretty you. cool. You know, listen, um, I don't know how difficult it is to write a kid's book, but as a parent, I know that uh, parents are cognizant of how long the book is, the type of words <laughs> that are used. Yeah. Is it something for a first grader to read? Is it something for the parents to read to the mm -hmm. kids? So I'm, right. I'm sure it's hard. So how did you come yeah. up with this idea to do this? Well, for me, I've honestly always enjoyed writing since about the fourth grade, but I've decided that when I grew up, I wanted to be an author, mm -hmm. so I turned 18, I'm like, <laughs> I'm grown up now, so <laughs> I'm going to write a book. Right, and now's the time. Yeah, now's the time, mm -hmm. and so I felt so passionate about this subject, and it's an empowering children's book to prove to children that who they are in that moment is who they're supposed to be, mm -hmm. you know? skinny, fat, black, white, gay, straight. I wanted the kid to know that who they are is who they're supposed to be and no matter what uh, stereotype or label society is placing on them mm -hmm. is that they need to be who they think they are. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of the message that I was trying to share and it came to me after somebody told me that I didn't look like how they thought I was supposed to look and so I mean I get stereotyped as like blonde mm -hmm. or like super skinny or you know like athletic, not athletic, so mm -hmm. that sort of thing. And just to prove that there shouldn't be stereotypes. Mm -hmm. It affected you and you carried yeah. it with you. Mm -hmm. But to crank out a message in 20 minutes is kind yeah. of <laughs> a, little, a little unusual. But that, yeah. to me, yeah. that means that it was living within you. Yes. Right? You'd already yes. been thinking about it for a long time. Yeah. It was just a matter of putting it on oh paper. Gosh, yeah. But then, Maddie, the process of getting published, that's very different than just sitting in your bedroom and writing oh gosh, yes. a rough draft. That was the long part. That took a little yes. bit longer yeah. than the 20 minutes it right. took to write yeah. it, right? Yeah, that was about four months. And well, I'm such an impatient person that <laughs> after like month one, I was like, Mom, how much? much longer. Right. So how did you even start the process? What did you do? Just to start the process? Well, it was at... Yeah, I want to show the book. Yeah, this yeah, is sure. It. We want you to get this and then, you know, have it for your kiddos. Yes, it's available on Amazon, Barnes uh -huh. and Noble, Lulu.com, yeah, and it's that's going to the cover bookstore. you're looking for. So go yeah. ahead about the experience, Maddie. Yes, so we sent it in, we did Lulu Publishing, which is a self-publishing, and you send it online, and it's like, it's this process of back and forth email, mm -hmm. communication mm -hmm. sure. with people online, on the phone, and it's just, it's a long, like I said, very long process, and I had my mom do most of the work. <laughs> right. I, mom, mom is here. Nice, mom. Way yes. to go, mom. But when yes. you got, when She's you got, my agent. When you got official word that this was going to be published, what were you thinking? Oh my gosh, like, the, running through my head, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really happening, uh -huh. and I just couldn't believe it. And, all my friends have been so supportive through the process. They're like, can we get your autograph? And they're just like, <laughs> through adorable. social media and everything. It's just been like wow. a whirlwind. Isn't it nice to have support? Yeah. Because you go from what motivated you to write the book and the, mm -hmm. the hurtful words of others, yes. even if they didn't realize that they were they were being hurtful. Right. There was no malice, maybe, in what the people were saying to you, but it still affected you. Yeah. To then the joy of yes. having this dream realized. <laughs> so then, what do you do with that that feeling and that momentum now as you approach high school graduation? What yeah. do you want to do next? I just I know, like I said, I want to be a writer for mm -hmm. the rest of my life, mm -hmm. and hopefully next year I'm going to get a degree in English, creative writing, and continue the process. I want to be like a writer for the rest of my life, and mm -hmm. I've been reading at elementary schools, and kids ask me like. What are you gonna do next? Like, what's your backup after writers? That I don't really have a backup. Like, this is my calling. Yeah, and this <laughs> is and this isn't the end. It's not like, well, I published my book, I'm done. Right. Yeah. yeah it's oh, time no. to retire. I'm gonna move to Florida yeah. and just hang out for a while. So, is this for sale now? Can people purchase this yes. now? Yep. Okay. Lulu, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, mm -hmm. bookstores, trying to get in little coffee shops, yeah. boutiques. Have mm -hmm. you talked to uh, kids or teachers? Somebody that's read it. What, what, what are you hearing? What mm. type of feedback? I'm just. I mean, and they love the illustrations too. The kids, the illustrations, their eyes light up. And my good friend Highland Miller. She is a family friend and she was who um, illustrated the book and so of course they love that and they love the message and mm -hmm. they always like they look at me like, oh my gosh, this is like an actual writer. Like, are you mm -hmm. famous? I'm like, not really. But you still have my not yet. Yeah. Well, you've, not got yet. To, you've got to start somewhere, Maddie. So yes. what is your advice then to somebody else? A teenager, oh goodness, yeah. a teenager or an adult yeah. who's been holding <laughs> on to a dream and they just haven't taken those first steps. I would just say, honestly, if you want to be a writer, the only thing you can do mm -hmm. is write. And so you know how if you're going to be like a professional athlete, like you lift weights or, you know, work out, that sort of thing. How mm -hmm. we writers work out is just by reading other books mm -hmm. and writing. I just never stop writing. If you have something inside of you, like you said, that's living inside mm -hmm. of you, 
just write down the scariest thing you can think of and just share your work yeah. with other people. It's sharing with other people is the hard mm -hmm. part. The hard part, because yeah. do they accept it? it? Right. right. Do they right. accept what you've put on yeah. paper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how do you write for, for kids? I mean, for kids. How, what's that process? Because I imagine it's a little bit yeah. different than you're writing uh, your, your essay for, I know, for yeah. high school. Well, it's like, and I have younger brothers too. And so this book is written in rhyming. And so, I mean, Dr. Seuss has always been an inspiration Aww. for me a lot and so I decided that rhyming kids really listen to that mm -hmm. and and the pictures and the way that you put the it's kind of like an artist like the way that you form the words for mm -hmm. the children is different. What ages is this good for? I would say anywhere from like when they start to read until I've read through sixth grade mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. Would you do me a favor and just read the last two pages of the book? Yes, would you yes be so of kind? course. Okay. Yes. I really <laughs> like the last <laughs> sentence. We are one, but we are many, unable to be counted. We are more than just another number, and this is astounding. We cannot be explained, classified, or described. You are you, and you are undefined. And that was written by Maddie Reinheimer. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can, you can get the book, and it's available on Amazon, all mm -hmm. the places the books are yes. sold. Mm -hmm. Yep. Maddie, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having me. We look me. forward to hearing about yes. your next book when yeah. it comes out. Don't Keep hesitate in touch. to let, let us know. know. Yes, right. <laughs> Try to break that 20-minute rough draft record. Thanks, Maddie. That's incredible. Yes, thank, yeah. thank you. you. Uh, it's not often that you, you get free admission at Lawrence and Gardens, mm -hmm. but right now you do. How long it'll last and what you can see. Mia will join us in less than three minutes.